News Voice is the world's first mobile app that helps you track where your news is coming from. News Voice helps you track what corporate interests might be influencing the narratives in the news you read every day. Arm yourself against corporate media monopolies by downloading the News Voice app for free using the link right underneath this video. Remember that a membership at joinpacman.com is the best way to help us as a country get a fresh start here. And you can indeed use the coupon code fresh start, all one word, all lowercase, to save an ungodly amount of money off of a membership at joinpacman.com. Well, as votes continued and continue to be counted, Donald Trump decided to hold a press briefing yesterday. He took no questions, he was late. His advisors were reportedly telling him, don't do this, don't do this, because quite frankly, how could it possibly go well for him, given that he had been retweeting and tweeting for two days about fraud? It is difficult to imagine he could behave normally, even for the shortest of press briefings, but he did it and it was a complete and total humiliation. Let's look at it. We may be getting to the end of these for Donald Trump, and that would be a beautiful thing. Donald Trump opening with a whopper saying, if you count the legal vote, I easily win. But if you count the illegal votes, they might be able to steal it. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. If you count the votes that came in late, we're looking at them very strongly, but a lot of votes came in late. I've already decisively won many critical states, including massive victories in Florida, Iowa, Indiana, Ohio. To name just a few, we won these and many other victories despite historic election interference from big media, big money and big tech. This was a lie. There is no evidence of election fraud other than from his side trying to purge voter rolls and have mail in ballots thrown out and have vote counts stopped. The only interference we've actually seen is from his side. Joe Biden throughout saying could take a little while. Let's give him time. Let's remain calm. Trump then says that polling was election interference. This is now Alex Jones uh, type conspiracy nonsense polling is election interference. Take a look. As everyone now recognizes, media polling was election interference in the truest sense of that word by powerful special interests. These really phony polls, I have to call them phony polls, fake polls, were designed to keep our voters at home, create the illusion of momentum for Mr. Biden and diminish Republicans' ability to raise funds they were what's called suppression polls. Everyone knows that now. And uh, it's never been used to the extent that it's been used on this last election. To highlight just a few examples, the day before election, Quinnipiac, which was wrong on every occasion that I know of. That's, I have to tell you, that's the first time in this entire race I've heard a Donald Trump refer to Joe Biden. As Mr. Biden, Sleepy Joe, a phrase notably absent from this ill advised press briefing. Interesting to see that. But also, the content of what Donald Trump is saying is ridiculous. I also, just as a little flavor, I love him saying Quinnipiac there. Just, you know, a little, little extra. You always have to add a little, a little more if you're Trump. Trump then saying the entire election system is corrupt, undermining confidence at the top level, mind you, in the U.S.'s ability to carry out an election. And of course, there are concerns, serious concerns about election problems in this country, but they are concerns as a result of the things Trump's side does, not the ones Trump is pointing out. And we won a case, a big case, and uh, we have others happening. There are a lot of, lots of litigation, even beyond our litigation. There's tremendous amount of litigation generally because of how unfair this process was. And I predicted that I've been talking about mail in voting for a long time. It's uh, it's really destroyed our system. It's a corrupt system and it makes people corrupt, even if they aren't by nature, but they become corrupt. It's too easy. He's right. I mean, you you know, you've got to hand it to him. He did predict 
that he would do this. We knew he would do it and he's doing every aspect of it. On Monday, I told you Trump will claim victory on election night, even though there won't be such a victory, at least at that time. And he did it at 2 a.m., 2.30 in the morning. I told you Trump would claim that there was fraud and he immediately started doing it. I told you Trump would try to get courts to get involved to hand him a victory. And he has filed somewhere between four and seven, eight. I don't even know the number of lawsuits at this point. So he told us he would do it. And I passed that information along to you and he did it exactly as we predicted. Then, as if this isn't crazy enough, then it gets really insane. After arguing that Michigan, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin were rigged against him because all the votes were counted, Trump calls for all the votes to be counted in Arizona. He's blatantly trying to have it both ways. The counting of votes was a problem in a bunch of these states, but Arizona just should keep counting and then I'll win. And now it's getting to be to a point where I'll go from winning by a lot to perhaps being even down a little bit. In Georgia, a pipe burst in a faraway location, totally unrelated to the location of what was happening. And they stopped counting for four hours. And a lot of things happened. The election apparatus in Georgia is run by Democrats. We also had margins of 300,000. and. Michigan, we're way up in Michigan, won the state. And uh, in Wisconsin, we did likewise fantastically well. And uh, that got whittled down. Every, in every case, they got whittled down. Today, we're on track to win Arizona. We only need to carry, I guess, 55 percent of the remaining vote, 55 percent. So really un understand that he casually says all this counting is rigged against me in all of these states that I lost due to mail in ballots. But, you know, in Arizona, you've just got to things look great in Arizona. As long as they keep counting ballots, then I'll probably win. This is not democracy as we know it. This is a joke. This is a mockery. Even I don't want to use any any kind of pejorative term, but even in the most authoritarian. Uh, um, uh, what I don't want to say undeveloped countries, but even in countries where we have all along been questioning their ability to maintain democracy, you often don't get things as ridiculous as this from the leaders. Trump is outdoing even them. And then the Trump actually says that he's using tremendous litigation to stop people from rigging the election. And uh, there are many instances which will be reported very shortly. There's tremendous litigation going on. And this is a case where they're trying to steal an election. They're trying to rig an election. And we can't let that happen. Detroit and Philadelphia, known as two of the most corrupt political places anywhere in our country, easily cannot be responsible for engineering the outcome of a presidential race, a very important presidential race. In Pennsylvania, Democrats have gone to the state Supreme Court to try and ban our election observers and very strongly. Now, we won the case, uh, but they're they're going forward. They don't want anybody in there. They don't want anybody watching them as they uh, count the ballots. There is no evidence for anything that Donald Trump is saying. And when he posted some of these clips I'm playing for you to his Twitter account, Twitter flagged them as potential misinformation about elections. Trump then alludes to pushing his bogus legal challenges all the way to the Supreme Court. All had the name Biden on him, which is a little strange. I challenge Joe and every Democrat to clarify that they only want legal votes because they talk about votes. And I think they should use the word legal, legal votes. We want every legal vote counted and I want every legal vote counted. We want openness and transparency, no secret count rooms, no mystery ballots, no illegal votes being cast after election day. You have election day and the laws are very strong on that. You have an election day and they don't want votes cast after election day and they want the process to be an honest one. It's so important. We want an honest election and we want an honest count and we want honest people working back there because it's a very important job. So that's the way this country is going to win. That's the way the United States will win. And we think we will win the election very easily. We think there's going to be 
a lot of litigation because we have so much evidence, so much proof, and it's going to end up perhaps at the highest court in the land. We'll see. But we think there'll be a lot of litigation because we can't have an election stolen by, by, like this. And I so the message is Trump is such a victim. Everybody's unfair. Everybody's being mean. They won't just let him win and give him another four years. He needs counts when the counts help and he needs to stop counting when the counting is bad and he'll sue everyone and he'll never concede defeat, even if that's what needs to happen. And then Trump casually mentions on the way out without taking questions, of course, that he has claimed states, states that have not actually been called for him. So it will be hopefully cleared up, maybe soon, I hope soon. But it'll probably go through a process, a legal process. And uh, as you know, I've claimed certain states and uh, he's claiming states so we can both claim the states. But ultimately, I have a feeling judges are going to have to rule. But there's been a lot of shenanigans and we can't uh, stand for that in our country. Thank you very much. Understand that Trump casually says, I've claimed states and Biden has claimed states. Biden has claimed no states. Biden is accepting the calls of the Associated Press and state election commissions and networks and election officials. That's what Biden has done. Trump is the one claiming states like Georgia, Pennsylvania and North Carolina, which at the time he was doing it had not been called. Biden is accepting the calls of others and saying count every vote regardless of what state it's in, whether it came in by mail or in person. Trump is claiming states that have not been called. So seriously, guys, this is hopefully the last gasp of Trump. Anderson Cooper likened it to a turtle on its back. Take a look at this. Most powerful person in the world. And we see him like an obese turtle on his back, flailing in the hot sun, realizing his time is over. But he just hasn't accepted it and he wants to take everybody down with him. So there will be legal challenges. There is the real possibility that Trump will find a way to continue extending this and even rumor that Fox News will refuse to refer to Joe Biden as president elect, regardless of the outcome, on the basis that his status would be challenged. We'll have more of that, but so much more to get to.